Hi everybody and welcome back to the Hardest Info channel. Today I'm going to tell you how to fix the issue that you can't uh, download the applications from the App Store on your iPhone 17 Pro Max. So at first you have to go through the basics. Scroll on the control panel, tap on this folder and check if you have the internet connection. Hold your finger on the Wi-Fi, tap Wi-Fi settings. Here you should see this Wi-Fi icon, and if you tap here, you should see that um, you have the internet, and here you should see all these information, etc. Here you should see in that you have this Wi-Fi, no, not internet connection. Now, if you do have the internet connection, that's nice, but you can do this as well with the mobile data. To know if you have the mobile data, go back to the folder, and here you should see mobile data turned on. But that's not this, that, that's not actually all. You have to check uh, uh, on the website of your um, of your carrier if you have more data, if you don't have them unlimited. Apart from that, we have to check the iPhone's storage space. Let's go to settings. Here we have to scroll down to general. Here, uh, iPhone storage. Here, as you can see, we have Pro Max 2 terabytes. So actually, we don't have to Mm, I don't have to be worried about anything but here if you do have for example full storage in your basic iPhone 17 or if you do have only 256 gigabytes and you have your photos so if you have it full you have to delete something to install these applications because not uh, like applications are not like photos they cannot be stored in your cloud apart from that uh, you can check uh, in the Safari website, I mean in the Safari browser, if you go to new tab, you can search for the Apple system status and search for that. Tap here on the support system status and tap plus on the available services. Here you can search for the uh, App Store, it should be over here. As you can see, we have every single thing that we should have available but here as you can see we have one current issue app store performance we have uh, here some ongoing issue with the app store but yeah that's how it works now i can exit the safari exit the settings and now if you have internet connection there are no uh, there are no any issue with the apple system status and you if you do have the internet connection we have to go further at first, restart your phone. Uh, you can do the soft reset using only the buttons. To do so, click uh, side button and volume down button to see this, uh, this and here power off. Then you can power your phone back on or do this with the buttons as well. And to do so, click volume up, volume down and the side button. And here, as I can see, we had the power off. Let's do this again power button. Here as I can see we don't have any other options. Hold the power button until you see your iPhone goes off. Hold, hold, hold the power button. We should see Apple logo. Now our phone is being turned on and that's nice because this is the soft reset. A simple soft reset should fix the issue sometimes so don't worry about that. This is not a minor issue in your, this is not a major issue in your phone. Now our phone is turned on, we can unlock it, and now our App Store should work. But what if your doesn't as well after the soft reset, after the soft reset. So we have to check our Apple ID. Let's go to settings and tap here on our name. And now here as I can see we have our Apple, Apple account. Let's tap on the media and purchases here and now we can tap view account. Check if your Apple ID is correct, if, if it doesn't have any limitations, etc. As I can see, we have to log in to our iPhone back again. I won't do it, 
but here you can log in and check if you have any information incorrect if you do update your information now you can go back and now uh, you can sign out and uh, sign in back to your account so actually we can go back here here medium purchases and here you can tap sign out then sign in to your account back again this will work for you because sometimes it's just laggy and you know the apple, apple has I don't know, all the things to do New, latest iphones everything like ios 26 even <laughs> all the things to do and somehow we have these bugs even though it's public ios 26 so we can just lo sign out and sign into your Apple account back again. Apart from that, we can check if we have the latest iOS version. If you are not still on the beta of the iOS, here in the settings, scroll down uh, on to uh, where the one. No, not scroll down. Here in general, and now tap software update. Here you should see the software update. As you can see, I do have the software update of the iOS 26. Tap update now and update your phone. This should fix your issue because <laughs> these are just quick fixes for your phone. As I can see, this update is 10 gigabytes, so it's a lot <laughs> of fixes for the iOS 26. And as I can see, this update provides important bug fixes and is recommended for all users of your, of your iPhone. And uh, these are the basic fixes. And if you want to go further and further inside of the fixes because it, it doesn't work still, we can reset the network settings. Go to settings back again, go to general here, tap the transfer or reset iPhone, which will be here. Tap that. And here, you, as you can see, we have reset or erase all content and settings. Here we have to tap reset. And now we do have here a lot of options. For example, reset all settings, reset network settings, we have to tap reset network settings. Now we have to enter our passcode. And now every single Wi-Fi network we have added, every single Bluetooth device we have added will be uh, deleted and we have to add them back again to our iPhone. So remember that you have to just remember the password and you have to pair your devices back again. As you can see, it takes a while, but don't worry. And now, as I can see, you are done without any internet connection, actually. Of course, with the cellular connection, but that's not the case. And now we are good to go. Now our app store should work if we connect to our Wi-Fi back again. But what if it doesn't? We have to go to settings. Here we have to go down to the uh, screen time of our iPhone, which should be somewhere here. Tap screen time. And now we have to go to content and privacy restrictions over here. Now, here tap up installation purchases, if you, they, if you have them enabled, tap that and here as you can see we have every single thing allowed. If you have something as you can see don't allow, set, set to allow or just go back and disable content and privacy restrictions. I know that for some of you it's useful so you, you can have them enabled and tap here, installing apps, set it to allow. This should work for you, same as with the App Store, Web and App Marketplace, just have them all allow. Now we can go here, and the next issue is, might, is that your date and time may be different. Even some lags or the internet or one minute to debug or one minute forward, it may just uh, <laughs> have your phone bugged. Go to settings, go to general here. Here now you can go straight to the date and time over here. And now disable set automatically, enable set automatically back again. Now your time should be fixed to your uh, and synchronized with your <laughs> time actually that should be. Apart from that, we can disable the VPN because sometimes VPN blocks our access. So go back here 
and here to the main menu of the settings and now we can go to the VPN of our iPhone. VPN is somehow uh, the issue that is commonly seen in our iPhones that block the uh, downloads. So at first we have to go here to the general and now we have to scroll down till we see VPN and device management, tap VPN and here if you do have some VPN configuration added, delete that uh, if you have it enabled. And now um, <laughs> we have all the fixes that should be uh, here and now you should be able to download your applications. But still, if you don't have the access to download the applications, I think that uh, there, there is some up, up, start, up start is down. I think so because it's impossible, but if you have the issue, try downloading the another application, for example, you're trying to download any game, try installing a different one, because the problem may be with the one specific application, or use a different Apple ID, so log into the fake account or account of your colleague, uh, friend, family, etc. Or contact the Apple support, call, chat, or email them uh, for help. I know that it's common to have these issues, so Apple support should always help you. And actually that's it for this video. I hope that this video helped you a lot um, and now your app store is fixed. And goodbye, have a nice day.